Hello, this is Ichi Baby, and welcome to the Chapter 2 finale of Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor 2! Let's get out of Bowangpo Forest and return to Zinya Castle with a job well done. But, let's see, I do need a little bit of healing for Xiao Yun. Looks like he took a bit of a hit last time, so make Guan Yu into my tactician. That way, I get a lot more healing out of Qi Jing than I would with Chen Dung as my tactician there. And one thing I also want to do at this point, probably should have done this a little earlier, but whatever. But I want to give Chi Tu Ma over to Zhao Yun there. You'll see why coming up today. But all right, I think we're good to go. Let's get out of here. I was thinking about starting the episode outside the forest and just get back out of there off screen. But, I figured that I was about to gain another level! Lots more troops for everyone. Especially Liu Bei. And we learn a new tactic! The Tier 2 Earth Elemental tactic. Even more powerful than the Fire and Water Elemental tactics. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, so I didn't want to gain the level off screen. I just wanted to show you that we get that one now. Alright, we're out of here. So yeah, there's nothing we can do to the southwest. I mean, you could actually leave the forest by the exit at the very bottom there, but there's nothing you can do for now. So let's get back home. And let's see, I don't think anyone here has anything new to say. But this guy's here now. Oh yeah! I thought you were gonna send for a messenger, but I guess you can do that just as well. Hey, all right. Oh, all right, yeah, let's uh, head back over to Bongjong Estate. Let's see, I, yeah, I don't think I need to rest up yet. We're fine, it's not like I'm gonna need TP for random battles anyway. I'll do that a bit later. We could go to the east a little bit and get over there probably in fewer steps. However, I prefer just having the l lower encounter rate. Just stay on the planes and you'll be fine. Of course, I could be wrong about that. Thanks, game. Oh, now you give me a break. Thanks. But all right, we made it back here. Let's pay a visit to Zhuge Liang and see if we can get his help. Okay, so if you recall, there were a couple NBCs, I think you were saying, do not wake the sleeping dragon. So he's asleep right now. So just talk to him. Wait for it. Is, is something gonna happen? Well, this wasn't how it worked in the first game. Well, you don't use the talk command to do this. The game pulls a bastard move, and you have to use the check command in order to advance the plot here. What happens if I uh, say yes? How wooed! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I forgot he said that. Oh, okay. Wow, that was rather blunt and to the point. But, uh, let's see. If we say no... Oh, okay. Yeah, if you press a button there... Yeah, I guess that's... Well, that's what happens there. But, uh, no. No, let's, uh... Don't wait, him. Wait for it. There you go! Now we can advance with the plot. So, yeah, they try to trick you with how they did it in the first game, but, uh, no, no. How do you even know who I am? Oh, well, yeah. We kind of have, uh, people trying to murder us? Yeah, we could use some good advisors and tacticians. 
What do you mean you still have much to learn? You're the master! Who's better? Oh. Um, well, can't he take care of himself? That's... <laughs> well, I guess we're hosed, then. Oh, hey! Alright! More party members with Jiggly on at last! And thus comes an end to chapter two. Hey! The end is coming! Again! Well, let's see what he can do for us. What's up? Man, that's a lot of them. Well, all the holes in the walls would be a problem. But yeah, we're probably not gonna fix that anytime soon. Didn't we just do that? Oh, okay. So yeah, now our party is going to be split up a bit here for the upcoming scenario there. Oh, hey! Yes! I finally get to burn people alive! Oh, okay. I guess that means, like, the south end of the forest or something. Good thing I left equipment on, you guys! Two tactics a real warrior needs. Frontal assault and death by frontal assault. Well, yeah. But yeah, now we're only in control of Zhuge Liang and Zhao Yun there. So that's why I gave the Chitu Ma over to Zhao Yun there. And Zhuge Liang, yeah, his maximum intelligence. Pretty good agility, too, although it could use a little more, maybe. But in any case, he inherits all of Chen Dung's equipment. So that's pretty nice. Let's see. Okay, so I want to make Zhuge Liang into my tactician, of course. So we'll put Zhao Yun up front there. Are you sure you remember how to set people on fire? But in any case, hey, things have changed around here a little bit. Yeah, now that we're in Chapter 3, I guess they finished the roads around here. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, okay, I feel so much better with you doing that. I mean, it's better than Zhuge Liang staying here. I need that maximum intelligence. Oh, yeah, also with Zhuge Liang, you might notice uh, let's see oh, well, I'm not at fault let's see uh, yeah, I need to rest up, actually yeah, let's go take care of that so, yeah, I just figured I'd wait until now to do that, because we only have two party members, so it's a little cheaper that way Okay, so now, with that, yeah, with 255 intelligence, our TP is equal to our maximum TP. Unlike the first game where you lost one for some reason, I guess a rounding thing or something or other. Oh, what's this? Oh, <laughs> what is that, like a lion or a cat or something? I don't know. Not really sure what the significance of that is. Well, yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing the whole game. But now that we are in Chapter 3, we've got some more hidden treasures to find around here. Like an iron sword for Zhuge Liang. Not that he's going to be really good with it, but I don't have any other great sword wielders on me at the time. Yeah, that is one thing they do with swords in this game. 
where typically they're given the characters who don't have the greatest strength or soldier count for your the size of your army and all that but swords generally or stronger swords are generally acquired earlier than other weapon types and if you go over here we can find another hidden treasure another iron armor so how about we give that to Xiao Yun and then get the copper armor over to Zhuge Liang. And let's see. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, how about we save here while we're at it. Also, uh, now that we are in Chapter 3, uh, the enemies are going to be a bit stronger than they were before. So you might want to watch out for that. But will Zhuge Liang's plan to ambush Cao Cao's army in the Bowang Po forest work? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor 2. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.